factors affecting the size of the particles eh, or the total surface area. Okay, the total surface area of a solid is affected by the size of the chips of the solid. The larger the chips, the smaller the total surface area. What does this mean? Eh? Let's say this is a particle. Eh? This is a particle and then uh, this is a cube. And the dimension is 2 by 2 by 2. Eh? Okay, 2 cm, 2 cm, 2 cm. Now, if the dimension is 2 by 2, what is the area of a side of this cube? One side. What's the area? How many cm square? 4 cm square. Yes. Okay, that's correct. Okay, so 4 cm square. But this is just one side. How about the total surface area of the whole cube? Total surface area. Not the volume, eh? okay? The volume is 8 cm cube. Eh? The volume V equals to 8 cm cube. This is the volume. But we, what we want is the total surface area. 24 cm square. Yes, that's right. Because because uh, a cube has 6 sides. Eh? Okay, so, so 6 multiplied by 4, we have 24 cm square. So this is total surface area. Okay, for this cube. If we break this cube, how to break it? Okay, let's say we cut it in the middles here, okay? So we cut it in the middles here, and then it will become eight pieces, right? It will become eight pieces, okay? Eight pieces, and then the, the volume is still the same. The volume, the total volume is still the same, eight cm square. Each one, one cm, uh, sorry, eight cm cube, eight cm cubed. Each one is uh, one cm cube, right? Okay, each one, one cm cube. Okay, now then so after we cut it into uh, smaller pieces like this, then the dimension will be one by one. Okay, one times one times one. Okay, so that is the dimensions. And therefore, the area here will be one cm square. Yeah, one cm square. So what is the total surface area for one small cube? What's the total surface area for one small cube? One side is one cm square. Okay, so that's that is one side, okay? One side, one cm square. But the cubes, six cm square. Yes, that's correct. Because they have six sides, right? Yeah, they have six surfaces or six sides. And therefore, six cm square. Six cm square. But we have eight cubes, right? We have eight cubes. And therefore, the total surface area, the total surface area is six multiplied by eight equal to 48 cm square. Okay, now you see, this and this actually the volume is the same okay the volume is the same actually these eight pieces of cube actually is come from the same cube here but you see if i break it into smaller pieces the total surface area will be much bigger compared to this one right okay if i cut it into smaller pieces eh, the volume is still the same but the total surface area uh, become bigger so from here, we can conclude that the smaller the particles, if the volume is the same, the smaller the particles, the bigger the total surface area. Okay, the bigger the total surface area. And the bigger the total surface area, the higher the rate of reactions. So that is the relationship between the size of the solid reactants and the total surface area. The smaller the size of the particles, the bigger the total surface area. This is the experiments. Eh? This is experiments. Uh, there is something wrong with the label. Eh? Okay, so actually, this one, eh, the carbon dioxide gas should be point here, and hydrochloric acid is uh, is this one. Okay, this is hydrochloric acid, and the marbles. These are the marbles. Eh? Okay, these are the marbles. Okay, so because these PowerPoints, when I upload it, is converted to flash, and when it converted to flash, something wrong with the label here. Okay, now this is experiments that study yeah, how the uh, total surface area or the size size of the particles affect the rate of reactions. Yeah? So we have a reactions between marble, yeah, marble yeah, is calcium carbonate, and uh, calcium carbonates react with hydrochloric acid. It will release carbon dioxide gas, and uh, the carbon dioxide gas is collected by a burette. We use burette is because there is a scale here, then we can read the volumes of the gas release easily. So we use uh, this apparatus setup uh, to study how 
the size of the particles affect the rate of reactions. Eh? Okay. Uh, in the first experiments, we use uh, marble chips, and in the second experiments, uh, we use uh, marble powder. Marble, pa mar marble powder means that the size of the particle is much smaller. Okay, the very first things that you need to know is the uh, equations, uh, equations for the reactions. Uh, calcium carbonate react with HCl, and then it release uh, carbon dioxide gas and water, and at the same time produces uh, calcium chloride. Okay, so we collect the carbon dioxide gas, eh, and we use it to measure the rate of reactions in these experiments. And this is a result. Eh? This is a result. Experiment one, we use marble chips. Eh? Okay, this one we use marble chips. And experiment two, we use marble powder. Marble powder. And from the graph, okay, uh, we have different result. Eh? We have different result. Okay, we have learned that the rate of reaction is equal to the gradient, right? The rate eh, is equal to the gradient. Eh? Okay. Uh, for these two experiments. Experiment one and experiment two, which one has higher rate? We learned that the rate of reaction is equal to the gradient. Eh? Okay, and for these two experiment, experiment one and experiment two, which one has higher rate? Uh, two. Okay. Uh, yes, that's correct. That's correct. Okay. Why? Because the gradient. Eh? You see, the gradients of experiment two is higher. Okay. Yeah, gradient is higher means that the rate is higher because the rate equal to the gradient. Eh? Okay, so this one the rate is higher and this one the rate is lower. We use marble chips, the rate is lower, and then we use marble powder, the rate is higher. So from these experiments, we learn that uh, the smaller the size of the particles, uh, the the bigger the total surface area, and the higher the rate of reactions. Okay. So this is the result, okay, the conclusions. We have marble chips and marble powders. Uh, so the smaller the chips of the solids, the larger the total surface area. We are talking about this one. And the larger the total surface area, the higher the rate of reactions. So this is the conclusions.